I haven't met a woman yet that wants an episiotomy. Unfortunately, when a baby comes through the opening of the vagina, the baby can tear a mother open, depending on the thickness of her pubic bone and the arch under her pubic bone and the, the space between the rectum and the vagina. And then, of course, the size of the baby and the position the baby's in, all those things make the, it unknowable ahead of time whether a woman's gonna need an episiotomy or not. If you think about it, the vagina is shut. The rectum is shut, bladder is shut, the vagina is shut. But if a baby tears a woman open, it may not be shut because it isn't just the skin that tears, it's the muscles and the nerves below the skin that get torn as well. And no matter how good the doctor is, if the skin is torn in one spot, that's easy to fix. But if the muscle is torn in another spot and the doctor can't see it, then after all the swelling has gone down, then the vagina gapes open. But if a baby tears a woman open, not only can she get water and dust and lint and yeast infections, but she's also more prone to have a leaky bladder when she gets older. But last but not least, if the vagina is all stretched open and limp, it's not so much fun when it comes to the fun use of the vagina for the husband or the wife. So for multiple medical reasons, you don't want to tear yourself open. It's better to have an episiotomy that's properly repaired and put things back the way they were rather than tear yourself open. Thank you.